Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh, thanks for joining me today. I hope you're doing swell. Today we're talking about Matt and Abby and the podcast that they deleted. Why did they delete this podcast with Dallin, Bella and Daly, and Dally who? Doopley do. Dinkleberry. Diddly doodly dad. I don't know what his name is. I think it's Dallin. I don't know. It's not because it's Dallin. Yeah, it's Dallin. That's it. That's it. So they deleted this and obviously someone grabbed it. And of course, we're going to tear it apart, tear it to shreds because why did they do like when a YouTuber deletes something, you're going to want to know why. And when you can actually get a hold of it, it's <laughs> yeah, they don't want me to be talking about this video. So let's talk about it. So if you're new to Matt and Abby and Della, Dallin, whatever, Della Vlogs, they're all dumb. All the names, okay? Matt and Abby, what kind of names are those? Weirdos. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, you, you, I don't like them at all. Okay, Matt and Abby kind of grown on me a little bit. Don't get me wrong, because they've stopped showing their kid's face. They kept up the old content. It is what it is, right? Um, but, uh, you know, a little bit of respect. I have a little bit more respect for Abby after her saying a bunch of stuff in one of her podcasts where she's like, look, nobody wants to hear our problems. We're rich, okay? And I just was like, damn, no influencer says that. And I feel like also she doesn't want to do this, right? She does it because it's a lot of money. She'd prefer not. I, I, she'd prefer to have a lot of money and not do this is what I'm thinking, right? Anyway, uh, where it comes to Della Vlogs, oh my gosh, that's the biggest shit show in the entire world, okay? She adopts this baby, gets ahead of everybody and doesn't know how to carry the baby, takes a selfie 10 times a day, makes content, with this, they're making millions of dollars off of this baby, okay? And just not good people. They're not good people, okay? She's raised by a crazy person who protected a chomo. Don't forget that. Also, that same mother left a kid in the car and there's a news article about almost killing a kid that left a kid in the car on the hot day in the summer. This is, a, this is she, and then we did the video where we talked about her MLM and the craziness where she's doing like, child labor and try to convince kids to sell her garbage crap. Okay. And that business is not doing so well, apparently. So all this and all of her and her mother and everything else, it's just been this like slight vein of evil throughout her whole life. And she's been taking advantage of people her whole life, including through MLMs. And it shouldn't surprise anybody, but she's doing it now. They don't care. They don't need the money. Okay. They want, they want the fame. They, they crave it. They crave the attention it gives them. And her face is squished. It's squished, okay? The parts are too close together. And her singing voice will make you want to punch a donkey because it'll sound better. You know what I'm saying? I like when people say, Matt apparently is pursuing a singing career. Good for you. If you're not exploiting children and you're pursuing something else, you should get a high five for that, even if you're not as good as you think you are. I mean, Matt's a decent singer, probably better singer than, way better singer than I am. But man, again, I challenge Matt specifically Matt and a couple of the other guys to a ba battle of the bands. Like, let's go get your band together. Let's do a show. Okay. Let's do it. And some people were asking, you know, why would you, you know, when I said doing the battle of the bands, I said, let's, you know, raise money for men's health or whatever. Some people are like, why wouldn't you do it for child exploitation? Blah, blah, blah. Um, because you think that they would agree to giving money because to child exploitation causes, because they would have to admit that they're, that's child exploitation. So of course they're not going to do that. Anyway, do I think they're also going to do battle of the bands? No. But it would be fun. Just saying. Anyway, let's get to the video that they deleted. It's friggin', uh, it's over an hour. It's almost an hour and 10. So no friggin' chapters. Damn it. So we're gonna have to scrub through a bit. Oh, man. How does that feel that you guys are parents right now? I can't comprehend that I'm a mom. We've won it. I can't comprehend it either. Oh, hey, Dees. And welcome back to the <laughs> It's not funny, man. Look at me in the eyes, Matt. Right in my eyes. That's not funny. Okay, everybody, good. We're all on board. All right. Yes. <laughs> Yay! We are joined today by our friends Down and Bella, <laughs> social media superstars. They are social media assholes. Don't say you. You miss said social media assholes. That's what you miss said. Mispronounced it. Actually, recently what? on the podcast, we said we were team dogs aren't people. How did that make you feel, Lola? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you guys on that. <laughs> That's true. Hurt my feelings. I think we did make some Are people upset by that, honestly. Honestly, thank you. Honestly, I cook chile, lick a chirocoli, like. 
is a full on human. Honestly, he is the most He's human dog human. I've ever met. <laughs> he, 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 he only yeah. drinks filtered water. He wants to be fed with a fork. <laughs> what? Literally, people are gonna think you're joking, but it's literal. You feed your dog with a fork? Why? Idiots. Oh, yeah. What no. do you do when someone else has to watch Banks? You tell them we that he him. has to eat we, Yeah. We teach him how he to. He refuses to drink unless the water is filtered from the fridge. So that's your fault. You've taught your dog to be a diva, and that's silly. Because in an emergency situation, your dog will be effed. If they truly will not only, will only drink filtered water and eat with a fork, what if you, What if something happens you can't? Are you serious? That's hilarious. He won't do it. And then food? I didn't food? believe it. When you told me that, I didn't believe you, and then you showed me. You're like, seriously, look, no, watch seriously, this. He won't. And then he wouldn't drink the water, and then you got the you assholes. water out of the fridge, That's and he problem. drank it. His favorite foods are Chick-fil-A grilled nuggets, and... That's also my favorite food. <laughs> it's kind of, me and the dog have the same favorite food. He also loves Chipotle steak bowls, so... Chipotle is overrated. <laughs> but he... I said what he said. Won't eat bacon, chicken, or steak? Uh, he, she just said he ate chicken nuggets, dumbass. We're not listening? Or anything like that. Unless it's seasoned. He's very, very picky. Kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey. Remember, Why? 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 remember when we... No. Matt, you're not funny, man. Did these... I honestly, like... They're not funny. Okay, I went to see John Chris the other day. I told you about that. I actually... I haven't seen a live comedian in so long. And I just... The, the, the people who are actually good at being funny are mind-blowing to me. Right? That, that takes such talent to be able to do that. And these people... <laughs> I'm going to feed your dog grapes. Ha <laughs> ha, funny girl. Kill your dog, funny. No, man. There's nothing funny about what you said. Dogs can't have And I think he dogs. thinks he's funny. I didn't know that. It's either he's dog, hanging out. he's hidden beneath the table. He so wanted to be on the podcast. You're hidden beneath the table. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For the chair. We'll wow. never forget about your firstborn. I yeah. know. And now let me tell you, now that he's a big brother, it's so cute. Your dog's not a big brother. Stop saying this. Your dog is a dog. Okay? It's a dog. It's not a big brother. Cool? All right? Cool? All right to see him with story he loves her sweet he loves her. how does that feel that you guys are parents right now i have to tell you i don't think it's like i can't comprehend Double claw. that i'm a mom you're a dad like it just is such a surreal feeling we've wanted this for years and we've needed this for our channel for years <laughs> because the stuff that we were doing before really wasn't happening it was okay. It was like we got we we hit a peak, and then people stopped watching because they realized it was all fake, and so we didn't do that anymore. And so I tried the the other thing with the, the shots, and I couldn't get pregnant. And then I did this. This is exactly what our channel needed. That's what she meant to say. So now that we're actually here with the world's most beautiful, perfect baby, I'm just we. Well, just saying. Feel so not the world's most perfect baby. Okay. So happy and so blessed is so wild. We're so I hate when Christians. Mormons, anybody who like is in that religious world says we're blessed. F off. Okay? Because the connotation means that those who aren't blessed aren't loved by God. So just can we stop like petition? Stop saying I'm blessed. I'm even sure I've said that a bunch of times. Okay? I'm never gonna say that anymore. Okay, just stop saying that. Please. Yeah? In agreement? Everybody? On board? Alright, cool. Cause then when things go wrong, do you say, I'm not blessed today? Is that what you say? No? Nobody? Okay. Yes. I have so many questions because you guys kept a lot of things. Every, you kept everything a secret from us. We had no I would idea. I consider our kept it a secret. We kept it a secret. Elves close friends of you guys. Yeah. And then we were just so surprised. <laughs> we I'm didn't not, tell anybody. No. And, and anybody. Yeah. yeah, you told. We know who you told because you filmed it. You literally told this. Like from this from reality television show, some idiots. You showed them first before even your parents. Before your parents. So that's what I'm Anything. saying. Like, there's a lot that we could talk about here because yes. we don't even know a lot of like it's all craziness. the the process. I want to be filled in. I want to know what happened, <laughs> how it made you feel. And, Words matter, and just so much more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's so perfect. I can't yes. stop looking so at her. Sweet. We're first of all, we're can't see her. So <laughs> she's so burned. Can't stop looking at her. Well, you can't see her because she's literally in a cocoon on my chest. You can't see this baby. You never be able to see her so obsessed yeah if you're listening on audio she's actually here right now she's just sleeping she's strapped to Bella. she's sleeping you might hear some like little baby hey, help me <laughs> you stuck with an origami owl necklace on her <laughs> like it's like an imprint noises which are just my all-time favorite but oh. so, it's funny we live in the same city and i feel like we see you guys like every other month even though <laughs> even though we're yeah. literally a, a 30 minute drive from each other and last yeah. time oh I, okay we've hung out since then but like one of the no, main times we hung out last was our son's birthday party and imagine hanging out with another influencer and it's like 
only hang out when you do like content together. Again, that was deleted. And I don't know why, I guess we're gonna find out. I think you guys told us that you actually did know at that time about, yes. you know, the adoption. And you, so, so walk us through that. Like they made it sound like it was like instantly, but if they were hanging out with people at the time that they knew, that does that timeline doesn't make sense, right? There's something weird about that timeline. At that point, did anybody know a month ago that you were even considering uh, considering adopting? Uh, everybody in the world knew that they were considering adopting because they do videos on it. What kind of question is this? They literally tell the entire world all the time for, and even when they were scammed, they told everybody that too. So, what do you mean? Did anybody know? Everybody knew. Yeah. So I think like with all the trauma from our first adoption experience, we had experienced a horrible scam and we're not going to get into that because it, oh, yeah. okay. it was really traumatic. Shut up. But you're, you're idiots. That's your, tr your trauma comes from you being idiots. That's what it comes from. Cause you didn't, the second time where you went through the process and they had to go to the agency and all this stuff, this one was a little bit different and you didn't catch that. You, you know what? The, the, the scam was that you're idiots. That's it. It because hurts. of that, we had ended during that time. We told our family and friends like yeah. so much information about that adoption and everything that we were pursuing. And so after that whole thing, we were like, you know what? We're gonna keep this more private, and we're just gonna keep this between the two of us. Oh, okay. And so yeah, our, at Griffin's birthday party, we had actually already seen her case, and we had sent in our book for her birth mother to see it. Okay, so they made it sound like this was just a call out of the blue, and they were just like. So the timeline doesn't make sense. They were lying in their video. Like they made it sound like it was like instantly da da da. That's a lie. And so we were just waiting for the response to see who her birth mother chose. And it took her two weeks to choose a family. And she chose us. And and Ugh, that poor child. Lady, if you're out there watching this, why did you choose these people? And what did they, I would love to know what's on their application and what lies were told. Because there is no way that they tell this lady that we're famous YouTubers, no way. Or maybe they didn't. They think, oh, you're going to be in a famous family. Maybe they want that for their kid. But man, I, I can, I, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. A stressful. Stressful two weeks. It, it was so hard. Wait, so for people that don't know a lot about the adoption process, you were talking about a book. You guys have like explained to us kind of, but kind of explain like what that was like, like making your book and like what that entails. Yeah. So if you have like, if you're pursuing adoption, you create like a profile. It's kind of like a magazine. It talks about us. Talks about like. Everything is it virtual or is it like I'm picturing like this is actually a physical book? It's like a physical book. No, yeah. not like, think of like a magazine. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a magazine. Yeah, sounds like a magazine. Got it. And I would love to see that magazine. Oh, I would love to see it. Lookbook. Look at us. My eyes are too close together. Um, <laughs> you know that shit's full. I would love to get my hands on that and read the lies. Oh, the snark would be plentiful. Looks like a magazine. There's like a sure picture of us. I'm sure they all look different. Like, yeah, depending on... I, we have one somewhere around here. And <laughs> oh, do you? And about us. And, and then, our life. And our life. And like, it's like... What do you got? So what do we do for a living? We run an MLM where we scam people out of money and use child labor. And now we're exploiting your new baby for our channel. Yeah, we have animals that don't live here that other people take care of. So just to the birth mother... You know, like what we would like our promises to her, and like how, Sweet. yeah, it's actually really, it's really cool. But then we really like prayerfully thought about what we wanted in that book because it's the most important book. Because prayerfully, prayerfully lied. God, what should we lie about in this book so that we can get this baby? I there's lies, and you know there's lies. It's how our birth, our daughter's birth mother chose us to be her parents. So really cool. Yeah. It was so, special. so what do you, what exactly did you put in there? Like, how did yeah. you decide? What lies did you put in? Matt's looking for the, the lies. Images. And I'm sure there was a certain character limit probably too. So how'd you decide like what to include and what not to include? The biggest thing is we had an adoption consultant that like walked us through all of that. Yeah. Wow. And she was like mm. the biggest lifesaver ever. Like, wow. <laughs> since here you guys are YouTubers, we're not going to say that. Why? Well, because nobody likes YouTubers. They think you're assholes. So we're going to say that you guys are in, run a media company. Or just stick to the origami owl thing. How about that? Does that sound good? And, but we're not going to call it, we're not going to say it's an MLM either. We're just going to say you just, you're the youngest run business entrepreneur person ever. Like, no mention of social media, okay? I want to know if there's a mention of social media. I absolutely want to know if they say that they're influencers. Be, without her, we would have been so lost. But like... Our book, like our first page, is just talked about us, like how we met, mm -hmm. how we like kind of like the last five years of our life, like how we went through infertility. This guy's gold digger. And then got into like our families and then talked about our travels and then talked about like ways that we want to parent and raise. Talk about your jobs. Is our kids. 
and just like messages to the birth mom and then mm. it kind of just ended it out with like something really cool that was my my favorite thing is they had us lift list list out five promises to the birth mom wow Ooh. and that was like a really special thing and five promises like money <laughs> we'll buy you a lincoln navigator we'll also give you money and money give you a shout out on our social media platform what are the five promises i hope they get into that and so we like sat down about and i like prayed about it and thought like what, about it. like what can what can we promise this lady that's making such a selfless act of you know choosing adoption and like yeah. what can we promise to her to make this choice easiest for her mm -hmm. i want to know what those promises were like best for her and so i mean she's only the most important woman in our life oh i mean gosh. she changed yeah. her life and I like could actually start crying thinking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for your baby. Oh. <laughs> These people have made literally hundreds of thousands of dollars off this baby already. That should piss everybody off. That's crazy. And it's going to get, cr they're going to keep doing it. They're going to do ad. I'm, I'm not sure if they've done ads with this baby yet, but it's going to start happening. Okay. They don't care about exploitation. They don't care about putting this kid online. The, the world has changed. Matt and Abby sitting over there have stopped doing the thing. And they're like, we don't care if they're your friends. And you're, and you're listening to them, what they're doing. Why would you not do it? Why would you not protect the baby? Clearly other people think it's wrong too. I'm gonna do that. Um, but I don't know, I just feel so much gratitude. <laughs> like there's, you know what I mean? There's no instinct. There's no instinct. There's a rhythm and there's a <laughs> Kids like <laughs> for, our, for our daughter's birth mom. And yeah, that book, just thinking about her like flipping through those pages and like seeing something in us for well, this one's eyes are weird, but let's see what the other ones look like. Um, someone to raise her daughter that just like, it's just so wild to think about. Yeah. So they, so what they do is then they hand these books to the birth mom. She can take as much time as she wants. She reviews them. She can take them home. She I want to see, why didn't they elaborate on the promises? Because that's a big deal. What are the promises? Like open adoption like you're gonna be able to see the milestones we'll send you we'll send you the photos the updates you know if she's in piano you know maybe you have a say in what do you think we should help with i don't know I, you know, should we get baptized i don't know is the other person a mormon it's did they know you're a mormon did you say that, that you're a mormon did they know i don't think they knew that you're a mormon i mean i want to with these promises that's a pretty big deal and do whatever and then she ultimately makes a decision what do you, when you're rich and you like portray this, that you're rich and you have like professional photos taken and everything else, what do you make in your promises? Like what, what are you allowed to make in your promises? Are you allowed to make like major promises? Like I'll fly out to Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, we'll fly out once a year to, you know, and just say, hi, we want you in our baby's life. Is that like major promises? Like you're, you're, you will have access, you know, and we'll, you know, when they get older, they can choose whether or not they want to talk to you or like, is that what they're saying? Is that what the promises are? Based off of and do you have to honor those promises, like legally? Books yeah. on who she wants to parent that and, baby. And what were those promises that you guys put in, or is that something that you want to? Keep I don't even know. Personal? I was trying to think of them. I, yeah, I can't remember. I we we made our book a couple months ago. You don't even know the the promises you made to this this most. Bella just told you guys she's the most important person in their lives, and you're talking about this thing in super detail, but you don't remember not even one of the promises you made to her. You don't know. So does that mean, like, what do you mean you don't know? Those are some pretty, that's a pretty big deal that you don't remember promises you made to the birth mother. What? Is that why they deleted this thing? Is that, that could be the reason because that's a pretty damn big deal. Okay. I would have to go back and look. Yeah, go look. Go get one. You said there's one in the house. Go get it. I don't know if you remember any. Uh, let me think. I'm trying to think. No, no, no. They know. They don't want to tell the world. They don't want the world to know which promises they made. That's really sus, everybody. That's super sus right there. Because you know why they don't want to tell the world? They don't want it on camera. They don't want it on record. Because it sounds like whatever promises they made, they are absolutely not going to fulfill those promises. That's what it sounds like to me. Damn. That's what it sounds like to me. I wish we had our book in front of us. They're like the only most, imp like the most like important the things most important in, the, thing. in the book. <laughs> yeah, Matt's like, that. that's what I'm saying. They're like the most important thing. You don't remember any. They do, Matt. They remember everything. But you're being naive, okay? You're being naive. They remember them all. They don't want it on record. They don't want you to know what they promises they made so that when they don't fulfill those promises later in life, because they're on social media and they will be held accountable for it, they don't want the world to know. They do know. They're lying to you. 
No. <laughs> Look at Del. Oh my god, it's scary. You gotta go back and review them. I remember one review of them. One of them, eh? them was that we were always gonna share oh, here we go. her story with her and make sure that she knew about her birth mom. Wow. Okay. That's, you know, that's standard. I mean, a child's going to know they're adopted. You're not going to not tell your child they're adopted. So, I guess, is there like a profile? She's like, here's what I want you to tell my daughter about me. Here's my little write-up, blah, blah, blah. That's where you're going to tell your daughter. Cool. That's that's a good promise. I'd say that's good. But I think they didn't want you to, to tell you the other promises because they, they probably... When you want something and you're at like the will of the person that you want to get that thing from, you will literally say or do anything to get that thing, regardless if it's a baby or whatever, right? You're at the, you're at the will of someone else who's about to give something the most precious thing in the world to you, life, right? They're going to give you life and that's the most precious. That's like, that's a huge deal. And you're going to say whatever it takes to get that thing, right? And you will over promise and something tells me they severely overpromised, and now they regret it. Now that they have, and then when you get the thing in your hands, whatever it is, baby or not, everything shifts. And you're like, well, maybe we're not going to do that anymore. All that changes now that you have possession, right? That's that's what's got. That's why I honestly think that's why they deleted this. But why not just delete that part? Wow. Which is something yeah. special. Like I want her to grow up knowing about her and what a selfless act that was for her. And <laughs> stop smashing your baby. How Tell amazing me. she is, and. Mm -hmm. I think that's just really important to us. Well, because I think a lot of adoptions in the past, people like didn't tell their kids that were adopted that they were adopted, right? And yeah. they, like they had like a random day at some point where they just would say, "Hey, by the way, you're adopted," and yeah. the kid would freak out. And I remember there was a kid growing up that had that experience when I was like in first grade, second grade. I don't know. And I I just can't imagine like you know hearing that news at a young age and then you know, you're a cat. Oh, it's the baby. Being so confused. So, like now, having that approach with your kid, when do you when do you start talking about it? Is that something that you start talking about with like when they're? I can't believe you just glossed over the promises and went on. That's really really telling. Three or how do you approach that? I think it's just something that is always talked about. I think it's so important, especially like before we started adopting, we took a lot of classes on like adoption trauma and yeah. like all the things that adoption brings that. Um, we wanted to just be educated on. And so for us, like we're... No, you didn't. You had to take the courses. <laughs> we just went to the, you know, you didn't care. You had to do it. It was compulsory. Just try. It's obviously a new thing for us to navigate, but we want to do the best that we can to make sure that she knows how loved she is, not only by us, but by her birth mother. And um, we do you just... Think do you think they're going to do that? I want her to know her I don't story. want I don't want her to have like a specific day that like when I was four years old yep. I found out I was yep. adopted. I want her yep. to just always like just <laughs> You're adopted every day. You're adopted. Don't forget you're adopted. As far as she can remember, she just knew that she was adopted. And we have like stories. I mean they're gonna see your eyes that are really close together and be like, I don't look anything I look normal. Three books for like young babies. Stop making fun of her look slash your misogynist. <laughs> Like for oh. yeah, there she is. <laughs> but then like these books talk about adoption and and like the very simplified ways. And so she's just gonna always grow up knowing that that was her story and that was her her life. And and know, that's why we named her about. story. I want it to be a normal thing in yeah. our house. Like I don't want it to be this like big topic. You know? I love that. Well, you know what. It doesn't matter what you want. You put it all on the internet. So it's there forever. This child is never going to be able to escape that. That's what none of these people talk about. They think they're just normal, regular people. They're not. You put it on the internet. Everything that you, everything. You think this kid's going to get away from that? I, it's so weird. I don't even want to, I don't want to make any weird relation, but it's almost like that, like when parents have like the talk with their kids, like I almost feel like, I, don't, I, don't know, I, feel, I feel like we almost want to have the same approach to where it's like, we use like age appropriate language to ex explain that stuff. Like with, yeah. with your kid. I, don't I, know, get it. I totally but, get it. I think that it totally seems makes like sense. Adopt yeah. Where was I? I was going with that. Is that they're online influencers, right? And this, this, their snark forum is never going to go anywhere. The videos I'm doing and aren't going anywhere unless they decide to take this kid off the internet and erase all their other shit from the past. Um, right? This kid is going to grow up in the world. Like, this kid is going to be known. They, again, people are glossing over the fact that they aren't regular people. That they are putting their entire lives on the internet for everybody to make, to tear apart, to tear to shreds. And rightfully so. Right? This woman takes a selfie every single effing day with this baby. It is a, and it's, it's so, it's just proof that it's, 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 and it's very rarely do you see this guy holding the baby ever. It's just her. In her own little world, taking care of this and like holding this baby, taking a picture. It is an accessory, and that sucks for this kid. It really does. Just the same way, like you want to use age appropriate yeah, language. Yeah, that's actually probably good because I remember the day that I found <laughs> all of it. It's kind of a dramatic day. I found out what periods were. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my we were God. at yeah. Subway. 
Subway? I always knew Munch. <laughs> Subway? Yeah, I don't know why it's my weird. mom chose Subway. I, I feel like ever since I was a little kid, I, I just knew that your mom's like, <laughs> enjoy this sandwich, Abby. And by the way. That's like, I'm trying to talk a joke here. Let me get this joke in. But like, she's eating a six. The, and- Matt hates, like, they. <laughs> They're on her joke, and he's like, "Me, I got a joke." So, and I was like, "Wait, this happens <laughs> every month." That Matt knows rings. <laughs> anyway. That's so funny that you remember that, because like for me, I just knew that, like as a little kid, I knew that mommy's blood. That's I, I just knew. I just knew that was a thing. Wait, is that is that weird? I no. Some people know. I knew. I didn't. Nothing ever. Although my mother was very much an overshare, so I think it just has to do with how your parents are and how comfortable they are around things. My mom was always like, just so you know, and then would like tell you things. Just <laughs> So I knew some stuff. Just, yeah, the way you described it was just weird for me. Okay, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I don't know. It was, it was just yeah. normal. <laughs> but I think it's cool. Not funny. Cool. I, I like that approach. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a really good way to just approach something it. something from the beginning. And it's like, it's just something so new to us. We're just going to navigate it to the best that we know how to. And we have a good... You don't know how to do anything now, so good luck. Team around us that's helping us mm-hmm. throughout that, throughout like those whole stuff. Fly in here! Also, like, adopted. I know you guys were yeah, talking other, other families, families that, that have adopted, adopted. and yeah. have helped their children, like the things to do, not to do, yeah. consultants that are helping yeah. us. I feel like you guys are a part of like consultants. this whole new community now. Because before... Um, I remember like talking to you guys a year ago. I, I feel like you just weren't about adoption, and now like that's because he wasn't about adoption. He said it on camera, which is another thing this kid's gonna hear someday. He didn't want to do it, and still looks to this day like he doesn't want to do it. Like she's completely enamored. This is a doll for her, right? This is an accessory. He doesn't. It's he might say it, he might say the words, but he said that thing out loud, and Matt's calling it. He's like, you guys didn't have yet. You, you were so against it, and they voiced that. So this was like, imagine telling your kid, you were our last resort. <laughs> oh, shit. So much has changed, and, and it's cool to see you guys really embrace that. You and like, not about adoption. Well, you're no, no. pursuing fertility treatment. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, no, he said he didn't want to adopt. A lot of people have that same, like, approach. The hard thing is when you're, like, pursuing for t- infertility or fertility treatments, and there's always just, like, that, the crowd, like, why don't you just adopt, just adopt? And it's like, okay, like... That's always in, was in the back of our mind. Something yeah, we want to do, but it's like that. Not in your mind, buddy. He said it was. He literally said the words, "It's giving up to adopt." That's what he said out loud on the internet. It wasn't the focus at that moment, mm-hmm. you know? And yeah. so like, we gave up and adopted you. Welcome to the family. Holy shit! We're never not about adoption. It's just our main focus yeah, at yeah. that time was those fertility treatments. I also and think like we didn't adopt because of failed infertility treatments. I feel like that is like a big misconception. Like for us, we've always had it in our hearts to adopt. And no, you're, why are you lying? This, this is why they delete. There's lies galore in here. She's no, you didn't have it in your heart to adopt ever. You guys talked about it after everything failed. Why are you lying right now, Bella? You're such a liar. We could have continued to do fertility treatments. Like we could have done that, but then the more we started thinking about it, the more it made sense for adoption to be a part of our life. And a wow, you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on this stuff. Part of our story. And look at now we have story. Now we have story as part of our story. Stories. Part story time. Every time we've said story before, I know. I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> me too. But yeah. Oh, by the way, if you guys didn't listen to the first episode that we had down on Belt on, they talked more about their fertility. Yeah, and they talked about how this was, it was giving up. And they did not talk about how they always wanted to adopt. That's such a lie. She's lying to you. And we can go back and hear it. That's, I don't understand these people. You know we can just go hear the words out of your mouth because you recorded it, right? Right? You know that, right? Okay. So she's telling herself the lies she needs to hear. She's so short-sighted. Yeah. And infertility experience. So if you want to check that one out, if you haven't heard so. Now I want to yeah, go back and listen to the, much I want to listen to the old one to see. Yeah, him. he does. Matt's listening to their lies right now. And he's like, I want to go listen to the old one and hear all the lies. It's changed. That's I know. Crazy. A lot of change. Speaking, so speaking of story, Abby literally guessed your dog. No, wait. Oh. I, you, can't, you can't jump to that. I'm jumping the gun. Okay, sorry, I was going to say, because you, you, you sent your books and then you said you had to wait two weeks. And you said that's yeah. like the most stressful two weeks of your life. The most stressful, just like, just the anticipation of like waiting. Because I mean, a lot of times with adoption, like you'll submit your book and then you don't get chosen. And I need to see this book. It's the reason they got chosen was the promises. And the reason that they're not telling you the promises is because they're not going to follow through those promises. That's, that's exactly what happened. They over promised and then they regret it now that they have the baby. It's okay. That's just part of it. And so we were fully not expecting to be chosen. But the hard thing is we had seen a photo. We had one photo of her that they sent. And 
It was like love at first sight. I saw it. And I'm like, shut up. It would have been love at first sight for any baby you saw. Get wrecked. This is so, our baby. so dumb. I am in love with her. She's so beautiful. And then I was. She keeps talking about the looks of the baby. She does it a lot. Maybe stop doing that. Okay. Maybe baby has a great personality. Like I had to start reeling it in. I'm like, if this isn't meant to be, it's not going to happen. Like I can't get too attached. That baby just shat. I just heard a shat. And so like for those two weeks, I was trying not to look at that picture, but every once in a while I look at it and I'd be like, oh my gosh. I refuse to like look at the photo. Dallin refused to look at it. Actually. Because, I, I, because it was giving up. It would get way too attached. Self-preservation. Yeah. I was like, I need a, I don't believe a word coming out of this guy's donut hole. I've already been through like a lot and it was like so traumatic. I can't get attached to this and then not be chosen. She's so Baby. precious. <laughs> She's so precious. Yeah. And you said in the meeting. She's like, help me, I'm squished. One time you're getting calls about like other opportunities and you're like, it's just so hard to navigate that because you're like, you're trying not like, to get attached, but then yeah. you have to commit really to one. Well, we were working with an agency at the time. And so when the agency receives cases, they would email us and say, is this something that you'd be interested in and i wonder how many they turned down Same. for us like after we got the picture of her and her case imagine choosing a baby based on a photo that's really weird and so she's admitting right now is that she chose this child based on the looks of a baby that's that's weird that's a little weird i'm seeing why they deleted this from that moment on we were like just attached to her and we're like we're just gonna wait this out and see yeah. if her birth mother chooses us to be her parent but it was so hard because like you said we did get a couple cases in that two-week period where you start to think and they're like they're really good cases and they're really good situations where it's what? like we pass these up and then don't get chosen it just it was like it's just hard it's just hard to like navigate all that but we felt really good about her and her situation we just we wrote it we out. felt good about our promises that we're not going to tell you oh those two weeks and yeah it ended up working out for everybody i think that 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 except for the other families who wanted the child and who wouldn't have exploited it on the internet except for those people don't forget about those people we always see this we see the privileged people up here and make tons of money and don't even need to do any of this stuff and we'll still exploit children but we rarely talk about those other people who are sitting there praying the same prayer stress is unique to adoption probably because it's like we're not talking about like you know when you get pregnant you have nine months and you're oh, thinking yeah. about it preparing oh. it's like your parents yeah. immediately and that's kind of yeah. what happened and we that's just and that's and we don't know we didn't know what to do i almost broke her neck five times in a way <laughs> we gave away everything from our nursery because oh we had, yeah we had oh, a whole yeah. twin nursery set up because of the whole because of the scam the scam that they knew was a scam but they absolutely exploited that scam and made hundreds of thousands of dollars off that scam. That was the best thing that ever happened to their channel, by the way. They made so much money off that scam. So they say it was the worst thing. And they're like, they, they totally, if it was so bad, there's no way you would exploit that situation and leave it on the internet for your life. If it was so bad, why would you want a reminder of it on your channel every single day? They did it because they made money on it. So it wasn't as bad. They actually turned it into a silver lining and made tons of money on it. Previous experience, we, yeah, the whole thing. So we had all like double cribs. We had all this twin stuff, twin stroller. And then we found a mom in the area. We did her everything just because we felt like that was a nice way to close that chapter. And like We needed to move on from all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, it was hard to see like the double cribs. And yeah, because the stuff is what matters. That's a reminder. Shut up. And they were like, F okay, off. we need to move forward. Well, you didn't even go in that room for so, for so long. Yeah. I remember one time we were over here and you yeah. were about to go in there to get something for Griffin. I was like, no, well, no, no, no. I, know, so I remember I needed that. to change his diaper and I don't think we had we I couldn't I couldn't find the, the wipes Abella yeah. went in there and got him <gasps> oh my god did you go in the room that you made for fun money oh my god did you enter it shut up get out of here you guys knew it was a scam stop it nobody is that stupid and you had an agency your agency would have told you it was a scam come on they're really 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 digging into this one I did, yeah. did, did you? I, I did, remember yeah. Honestly, I remember she was pretty she was pretty sad that shook me up a little oh are you kidding just I shut up I'm so sorry you, where you did I go know. in I didn't yeah. realize that you actually yeah. went in that was the I am so sorry you went into the room that you owned oh. Oh. I went in was for Griffin I like put blinders on though and I, I knew exactly where the wipes were so I went right in grabbed the wipes I am so out. sorry no, it's okay I just think like <laughs> I didn't <laughs> we're always re-traumatized no, no, no. oh my gosh get wrecked no, no, no. It's, 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 it's fine and I think we've moved forward I think I think yeah, like, you think 
that whole thing was just so crazy and traumatizing. Like, I didn't expect the to have... The fact that you went back in there for us and for Griffin. Well, I love you guys. I oh, my gosh. Whoa, and I love Griffin. Stupid. Griffin is my... <laughs> My little guy. He's so, no, he's not yours. Thank you. <laughs> we love him. We yeah. love Griffin. So that day, yes, you're getting rid of all yeah. the baby stuff that you had. And then we got the call five minutes before um, the twin mom walked into the room. We got a call about her. And twin mom? Oh. It was like... <laughs> Bella was like l literally I losing her We know. You filmed it all. Remember? Yeah, I was losing my mind. I'm like, we need to get home. Like, what are we going to do? I'm like, and we like, can't leave. This mom's about to walk in at any moment. She's like, yeah. I don't care Wait, about... did you surprise... Okay, so they didn't show that. So again, they're lying about the timeline. Because then they showed the phone call after. So something tells me that they faked the phone call too. They fake it all for the camera. Because they wanted to capture on camera for the views and the clicks. And they made lots of money on it. Yeah, it was a surprise. Yeah. Oh, and so we're hiding, we're hiding in, this, in this house with all the stuff set up. She's going to walk in any moment. And our, the agency is, like, blowing up our phone. Like, we need to know. We need you guys to review this case. <sighs> it's going to move quick. Oh, my Things God. Things are all happening. It did move quick. It took two weeks. And Bella's like, it, so I was, was like, I. I was, like, a wreck. It was. I, I started crying immediately. I'm like, oh, my oh no. no was, they, this was after they were chosen. I see. Gosh. And then they sent the picture. Like, right Another before, picture? No, the, just that the, was the, one, first that was the first picture we ever. So the timeline's messed up. So that was the first picture they got. So they're rushing it. And it, so it did take two weeks. So they made it sound like they got a call while they're doing this nursery thing and they left that minute. That's a lie. They got the call saying, send the thing. Then they got the picture. Then they were being chosen. Then they had to send, put their profile in with their fake lies in. And then it was two weeks. So why are they lying about the timeline so badly? They are lying. Like, oh my this gosh. is the little girl. And oh. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't. I just yeah. can't. Nobody can. You know, you suck. I was like, I bet part of you, like inside, like already knew that that was your daughter. Too. That's why yeah. I was like, Wait, was she the very first case that got brought up too? Like, was this the very first time that they were like, hey, there's this adoption? Because like, how does that work? Like, how do you decide? <clears throat> that's that's such a weird place to be in where like you're being brought that's the question Matt oh my yeah, god just potential baby like yeah. how do you make that decision you know it's hard it's well you're adopting so the decision is yes we'll adopt this baby what do you mean it's hard get it is what? very hard I just don't think people realize that stress and that like decision it's it's so hard that she wasn't the first case that we saw actually we had yeah. seen a couple before that didn't feel like it was a we didn't feel like it was a good fit mm -hmm. for our family or it just didn't work out or it didn't yeah. work out yeah. but it's mm -hmm. hard it's hard to make that decision you just have to go with whatever feels right and she she felt right for us and so we based off a picture that's nice her fully and yeah it ended up working out for us but it is not an easy thing to do so yeah. the call at that house was like them being like she chose your books or it's like no, you're, no. De you're narrowed down no that was the first call they said there was a baby born the and first introduction call ever. First yeah and they made it sound like it was like the dis is, am i incorrect about that maybe i'm missing something if you go but i have the video downloaded but it made it sound like that was the call then they left that's what they made it sound like they didn't in the video i didn't hear anything about a two-week waiting period i'm gonna have to go back and look First call we ever got. They're like, do you want us to send her case? And I was like, yes. I'm gonna look right now, real quick, real quick, just see if I can. They left that out the two weeks. They made it look like it was like the day of, and they left and did all the stuff. So they, that's what they, sh what they just showed you right there, guys. That's it. That's family vlogging in a nutshell. It is, is basically all a huge lie. So I mean lied by mission there but they they did that they dramatized it like that it, it made it sound like it was such a quick thing that happened oh, it was like uh, blah, blah, blah. that was a two-week period that you saw between those two times and they didn't nobody knew that nobody knew that till now so they made it sound like it was like boom we gotta go we're giving away the stuff but who cares about that we gotta go let's go that's two weeks so they dramatized it that way for clicks and views basically lied for clicks and views there you go everybody you wonder why they deleted this video. There's a bunch of reasons now. We actually put a little bit of that in our video. You're just like, I was like, a little bit of that. Yeah, send it right away. Like, send it, please. And then we go. They're, they did this video to backtrack or something. Or, or they didn't mean to put this out there or something. Something happened. She's like, oh, yeah, you said a little bit of that. No, you didn't. You didn't say anything about the two week waiting period. You made it sound like, and you were like shaking on the phone. You're sending, like, and you said this happened multiple times. So they dramatized it even from the beginning, even if they knew, and that, like they did with the scam, they dramatized the scam too. It's, they overdo everything. They fake it. You nasty. Her case 
while we were about to give um, our nursery to this twin mom. Wow. And we didn't even have time to read it because then the twin mom walked in and we were like, surprise! And then literally we were there for like five minutes. We're like, here's your new stuff. We love you. Okay, bye. And then we, we get home. That's why they didn't release that video because uh, they had it all set up. They filmed it all. And then they realized how garbage it was for them to be like, here you go, here you go bye. And then left. Th that was going to be a big video for them, right? But they didn't release that. Very interesting, right? <laughs> rushed home and we just sat down at our computer and read the case and we were just again she's literally shaking on the phone like, <laughs> like so much drama she's a faker she's faking it you know because in the back of my mind i really like i knew that this was gonna be our daughter but i that's what you said about the twins that you were scammed on you knew that too right you knew it's like stop yeah. saying stupid stuff like this stop it so, this was oh, that Thursday. Wait, what? Yeah. How did you find a flight out of here that fast? Dallin's a wizard. I just was like, yeah. I googled it and bought the tickets. <laughs> You're like, if there's something quickest, that the language yeah. know how to do, <laughs> book a flight. Dude, I can book any flight at any moment. We're good at this. Oh yeah. my gosh. So we were just frantic and imagine being that rich. Just be like, we're booking a flight. Bye. So this work trip. Ah. And it's funny talking to her after. She's like, I could see like the panic in your eyes. She's like, I knew something was up. Something was up, That's and you were just funny. saying it was a work trip. Can we just backtrack a second? Abby guessed your daughter's name like a year ago. Can we can we not talk about that? What? You guessed this person was gonna name it Story? How do you guess something so weird? I am like shocked. How did you I'm know that? Shocked. How, I don't how know. Did you, what type of voodoo magic did that you do to figure that out? Random thing is what I was going through your head? My heart to sank when you said I don't care. Oh yeah. One sure. of my favorite things now is so this is the first grandbaby on my parents' side. Let's go. And so now every <laughs> So now my mom's gonna leave me in the car. In a hot day. Hey, when they come over, they're like, it's time for story time, story time. Yeah. I mean, this whole kid's life, their whole life is going to be this way. Story time. And they're going to be made fun of because of it. Like, so cute. They walk Her mom's in. always like, I need story time She's right like, now. It's time for story time. So well, I yeah. saw the funniest comment the other day. Somebody was like, I bet Matt and Abby hate the name or like something. Oh. It's like <laughs> kind of going back to all the, the name stuff. Can we just yeah. let that go? <laughs> People love digging that up. People love controversy. They're just yeah. like, oh, they yeah. just want to find it. They're like, oh, can okay, we stir So tell us this. Do you like the, the name? We love I the name. Love we love it. You hate the name. Everybody hates the name. Nobody likes the name Della. Okay? Nobody likes you either. <laughs> that is before you even knew it. I was that like, is so I love funny. That. Maybe I just had a vision or something. I was like, I know what the name is. Anyway. Wait, there was this really cute name. I actually, the only time I've ever wavered on her name, I'll say, is um, I was scrolling through TikTok, and this TikTok couple just named their little girl Starly. How cute is that? No. Starly. Starly. Mm. I thought that was a. Yeah, that was your. <laughs> <laughs> thinking, like, what am I going to name them? Because there's going to be. This is only them. halfway over. Sell the babies. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. No, you we're not. The goat. <laughs> oh my god. And then we got Chip, the goat, who we also call Houdini because he can escape from anything. He's crazy. Oh. And then we have. They like jump really high. They're kidding. You would not believe yeah. how high they are. They can get the goats? out of anything. They're, They're males, Houdinis. so we don't milk them. <laughs> you don't milk them? My dad actually <laughs> raised a bunch of goats when he was a kid. He had a goat farm okay. with Story. Oh They're god. like, oh, were you with Story? We got to call it one. Oh, I think I'm still running on adrenaline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. No, literally one hour. And then we had her. That's we got her. And we were like straight into parenthood. Were you <laughs> straight, into parenthood. straight into parenthood? Kids like <laughs> that's what parenthood is breaking your kids' neck. You guys exhausted, or was like the adrenaline and excitement like keeping you awake? Oh, I think I'm still running on adrenaline. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me too. It's like I don't think I'm. It hasn't worn off yet. Yeah. People, one thing that like I've seen a lot of is like people keep commenting. They're like, that little girl is so lucky, and like. I disagree. <laughs> that girl's so lucky you're gonna put her privacy on the internet for the rest of her life. Everybody's gonna know about her. She's gonna have parasocial relationships with weirdos. Yeah, that's gonna be great. She's gonna be looked at by predators. So lucky. You're so lucky. Maybe they men because they're wealthy. Sure, maybe that. But no, the kid is not lucky to have this type of life because we have seen every kid that comes out on the other side of this say they hate it and it's bad and they hate it. Okay, so no, not lucky. Unlucky, actually. For me, like, I feel like we're the lucky ones. <sighs> yeah. I mean, know. that's true. She's right. They are the ones going to benefit from this. They're the lucky ones. That kid is not the lucky one. I mean, the lucky thing for any adopted child is that their parent would be in the place to be able to parent them. And so for us, we feel so lucky that we get to be her parents, but we also, like, are going to forever pray for her birth mother. And Yeah. But not tell. We all these promises we, but we don't remember what they were. Talk about her and think about her. And 
She's an awesome lady. Tell her her She's story. She's such a special person. Oh, we love her birth mother. So I can't say precious. enough good things about her birth mother. Yeah, I don't say anything about the birth mother. So, and you probably won't. And you will forget about the birth mother down the road when the birth mother comes to cash in the promises. Probably. A lot of people too are kind of like a little mad that we didn't talk about the birth mother in the um, in the video that we put out. Yeah. But like the reason we like, did it is because her totally. name is so sacred to us, and oh she's such God. a special person. What? That to even have the chance of anyone out there to make judgment on her or make yeah. a comment about her, I didn't even want that to become that would hurt an us, option like, or a single thing. F off. So let me get this straight. You dumb. Let me get this straight. So the birth mom enjoys the privacy and everything, probably wants it and everything else. And we would never want to even put her name out there and everything else. But you'll literally put her child that she gave to you on the internet forever and exploit this child on the internet. Everything on the internet. Like, you can't make this up that they just said that. Hear that. We want to protect her. We don't want her name out there. We, that's what they, what they want. It's not anybody finding her. That's what they want. And telling people and directing this mother into the direction of like the Reddit for thread or my videos or something. That's what they don't want. That's what they don't want. They're just lying. They don't care about anybody's privacy. If they did, they would have given this kid privacy. Okay, but this kid has been on the internet every single day that it's been in their possession. Every single day, if not multiple times. Okay, so spare me. Okay, you damn liar. And so she knows we've been able to talk to her. We've been able to meet her. She knows the love that we have for her. And, and Does she know about your videos? Does she know about your Instagram posts? Vice versa. And so we just keep that very private in between us. And I don't want anybody. I don't want to hear any family vlog ever talk about privacy. Okay, when they do, it just makes me sick. Don't talk to me about privacy because you're not giving this kid privacy. You've already taken away that kid's privacy. And if you continue to do it, you're going to take it away more and more year after year after year after year. You don't give me anything about privacy, okay? You don't get to say that. You to ever talk about her, judge her decisions, make any... Sort Nobody would judge this mother's decision, okay? I would like to know why she made that decision and I want to know what the lies were in that book. But adoption is beautiful. It's amazing. Who would give her... Pro what are you saying right now? I think they that they don't want her to be like, why did you give it to them? That's what he wants. To, that's what he's thinking. Mm -hmm. Negative thing about about her because she's such a special person to us. Yeah. Like she's got to know that these people are who they are now, right? Like the birth mom's probably out here looking at the Reddit thread and the my videos and looking at their videos. Like she's got to know, right? And so we kept that very private. Totally. Wow. F that's really. I really respect that. I respect. Oh, yeah, I respect the privacy, but yeah, I respect that you kept the privacy then, but not the kid, not the actual child. The child, I'm glad that you're, come on, come on, man. Keeping that private and um, I'm curious, like what, what can you, what, what are you able to share? I don't want to like, you guys to share anything that you don't want to, but I'm like, what, what can you share about like, ask us, what do you say? Maybe, maybe meeting her. Or, um, Did you get to tell her What the was that interaction stuff? like? Yeah. Yeah. I we named your child's story. Oh, cool. I thought Sarah was nice, but story works. That's story. Yeah. Okay, thanks. In touch with regarding my decision. On that, it was. I'm, yeah, I want to too. Okay, you go then. Okay, yeah, meeting her was unreal. She's just so amazing. I can't say enough amazing things about her, but she, we did get to tell her her name. Wow. And she just cried tears of joy. She's like, that makes me so happy. I love her name. I Aww. love it. Like, and. It, it was just such a special, surreal... No way this mother knows that they're social media influencers. No way. No way. And she got to hold story again, and we got to just talk. We talked to her for a while, and it, it was... was almost, it was over two hours. Yeah. We got to hang out with her. She told us about yeah. her family, like, you know, like her, her, um, her parents, her grandparents. Sounds like a young person. Her siblings. I don't want to get too much into detail. Yeah. But yeah. It sounds like a teenager. If you go to the Della Vlog Snark, there was somebody on there talking about how, like, sometimes Mormons, not saying this is that case, but sometimes Christians and stuff will force their teenagers to have babies who get pregnant and then force them to give it up for adoption. It happened to them. I've seen it a couple times, actually. Now, force is maybe the wrong word, but you know what I mean? Coerce. Push to do. Because Christians are absolutely pro-birth, obviously, okay? But they're also, I don't want you raising this kid, but they, adoption, because, I mean, adoption's great. If you... It, 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 doesn't always end up well, but adoption is great, right? And so what they do is they have the baby so they can feel good about their conscience, and then they give the baby away. They kind of sometimes coerce teenagers into giving them. So it sounds like this person was probably a teenager, and maybe then liked the fact that maybe they were influencers. 
that's what this sounds like to me. Things like that. And we just got to know more about her life. We got to know more. And they're talking about her like she's really young, too. Why she chose adoption. More about just all all things that are really special that I can't wait to tell a story one day. Yeah. And we got to take pictures with her. And it was just someone on the thread. Della vlog snark thread also said that the reason they probably went through a bunch was probably because they liked this photo of this baby because possibly this baby looked the most like them. Which is kind of icky. It's an incredible experience. I'll be honest, I was nervous at first. You know, oh, it's yeah. such a such an interesting I'm interaction. Mm-hmm. You know, you're you're meeting the person that just birthed your daughter. You know, I know she was nervous, so there was definitely like it was nervous for the first couple of minutes, but then we started talking and it all. What if like they do tell people that they're social media influencers and it's a teenager and she gets a profile and they use that like leverage that the fact that there are these famous people on the internet and like oh I give my daughter to these rich famous people and she's gonna have a rich famous lifestyle. Right? Imagine a teenager who doesn't think there's anything wrong with this and they leverage that. That could be a thing too. Like, that's. Uh... I'll play it out good and it was a really cool experience. How did you decide how to, you know, how to continue that relationship or not continue that relationship? Like, do you have plans to meet with her in the future? Do you have plans for a story to potentially meet her birth mother at some point? Like, how do you make that decision and how do you. Uh, yeah, how do you go about that decision too? Yeah, so we have an open adoption where, which we've learned that that's the best for everybody, mostly story. Uh, you don't have to honor it though. Um, and so really that's cool. what we chose. But the agreement that we have with the birth mom, we haven't shared with anybody kind of like what she wants and, and okay. what we want. Yeah. We've kept that very private. Between that's us. the promises. So they're, that's it. What she wants, we, we're not telling you guys what she wants because if we don't honor that, we can't say it on the internet because then we'll have to, like, we'll be held accountable for saying that thing. Us. But, but it was cool. We got to talk to her and, like, ask her in person. And so Della obviously steps in and changes the subject really quickly. And, like, what do you see this relationship being like? And so yeah. I think that was a special thing for us and for a story in the future to know, like, that her birth mother's wishes and what mm-hmm. she wants. And did you learn a lot of this through the adoption classes that you took? Did they kind of train you up on that and you, you know, were educated on how we're scrubbing out a, a day? Oh. And yeah. Absolutely terrible. And so when we were looking in agencies, we made sure that we found an agency that's ethical, does everything the right way, takes care of the birth mom that's to like the full extent. The most and ah, pays. She gets Important all thing. the needs and she's able to navigate this whole process with every help that she is needed at every including point. money point how do you watch out for the the um the agencies that don't do it the right way the ones that are shady it's hard it is how, so hard how do you vet that like how do you know that oh there this are is agencies that don't do it the right the way agency and this right here isn't what they went with an agency that said you can take pictures and post videos of your child that's what they went with once again what, what are the signs a good agency would would have a good thing in place that says yeah when you adopt this child that's not they're not going on the internet I, that's coming i know it is but I mean, the adoption agents, the adoption lineup is around the corner. Okay, it's a million people long. So the adoption agencies have the leverage here. They're the ones who can who can make these rules. They can say, you're not putting this kid on the internet for at least the first 16 years of its life. Okay, you're not exploiting this child. They're not having their privacy put on the internet, nothing like that. They can make those rules. It might dwindle down, like the Philippines and stuff like that might dwindle down the people who get them, but good, good, right? They have the leverage here. These people don't have the leverage. Adoption agencies can make this choice to protect children, and yet they don't. Yeah, without our adoption consultant, we would have never known. How do you find an adoption consultant? Like, where did you find that person? Yeah, we used a company called um, Christian Adoption Consultants. Ah, there you go. And they're just, they're very... Mm -hmm. It's more and more telling that it's likely a teenage girl whose parents forced her to give birth and coerced her to give it up for adoption, right? Some, some Christian families will do that and then they won't even tell the church or anybody around them that the kid had it, that the, their, that their kid had a kid. And then they will, they'll like get rid of it. It's like really crazy. It's crazy what people will do to, to hide the shame of that inside of a church, which is crazy to me. That's what it sounds like is going on here. And there's multiple. If we would have just like done our prior research. Adoption. I'm just like soaking this in and feel like, I don't know. I'm Bella, so said good, Bella said this to me the other day. She's like, I feel like life can begin. Like, yeah. I feel like we can That's just feels. put everything in the past and just, like, it begins. Like, our little family has started and we can... It's so exciting. It's so surreal. Like, I still can't fathom this. It's wild. Does it feel like this is just all you want to think about right now is just <laughs> like motherhood and then it's like nothing else? Because you... If- well, you should think about protecting your baby's neck. Smell is something she is. Okay. And the other thing I said, I just, like, 
I didn't know you could love a tiny human so much. Oh. Listen, like, this baby looks identical to you. I can pull... Me, though, is when you're staying in the hotel is, like, Bella's obviously fitness goals right now. And then she <laughs> had this little tiny baby. And the older ladies at the hotel were like, what? Yeah, they were like, those Dang. reactions were funny. And we even had some where they would come up to us and, like, this baby looks identical to you. I can totally see the resemblance. Half your husband, half you. And I'm like, Boom. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and that's why I don't think they're going to honor any of these promises or do these open adoption later. They won't do it. That's why they chose this baby. That's why she talks about the baby's look so much because she thinks it looks like them. And she's and they just admitted right there out loud that people make comments that it looks half and half. <laughs> and then you're like, say it's adopted. <laughs> yeah, you just like, there's been Little a couple we know. have, a couple in passing where they're like, whoa, your baby looks just like your husband. I'm like, thanks. And I just keep going. I'm like, yeah. I don't want to get into the whole thing. Um, thanks. It's not my husband's though. But yeah, that thanks. was the funniest is when a group of old ladies came up and they're like, how do you look like that? How old is your baby? And anyway, F off. Parents that are introvert. YouTube channel. They now have a Della Vlogs 2 channel. <laughs> F off. Okay, that's it. I can't get more. I have the whole video, though, if I really, really want to get into it later. But that was very, very interesting. And now I realize why they deleted the video. Okay? Or whatever. Delayed the release of it. It'll be interesting if Matt and Abby release this video again and see what they take out. Unless they uploaded it by accident. Unless... I, I, what, what's, what's probably happening is Bella and Dallin told them to take it down because they said something inside of that. Maybe the birth mom got wind of it. Maybe the agency got wind of it and said, look, you can't be saying shit like this. You got to take that down. So if they don't repost it, that's what, that's probably the reason. Or if they do repost it and they just take everything out, it'll be interesting too to see what they take out. So kudos to the person that downloaded this right away. Kudos to you. Amazing. So it's really when they when when influencers delete something, you got there's always some underlying thing. It sounds like they're out there in the wild doing things they're not supposed to be doing, and it sounds like they're not going to honor their promises, and it sounds like a lot like this is a teenage Christian child who is likely coerced into giving up their baby. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, wrong or right, I'm not going to comment on that. I'm just saying that's what it sounds like. And it looks like they gave away a little bit too much in this video. And that's why they asked them to take it down. Some people were commenting that uh, the Matt and Abby podcast, this might be like a, a, a rift. They were like, take it down, take it down, take it down. I can't believe you edited it that way. Or did we asked you to take this out and you didn't. And Matt just was lazy in his editing. I don't know. Something tells me it's going to be a fallout because these people have fallouts. But that was very interesting. And uh, they told a lot and they lied a lot. They absolutely lied. And again, the dramatization of the video when they adopted the kid, that's really shitty. That was absolutely gross what they did in there. Because they talk about the idea of adoption being, you know, we're going to show you the real, raw adoption. We're raising awareness to adoption. But they made it sound like they got the call at the people's house that they were giving the stuff away to. And then they got the baby. They omitted the two weeks. They omitted that. They omitted it. And they were, t they were acting all nervous and shaking and crying and everything else. And it was not. They were, they were dramatizing it all. So they aren't even telling you the truth of how it works. So they're not actually raising awareness. That's false hope for a lot of people. And then they chose the baby. It looked exactly like them. So very telling, very telling. And then they forgot all about the promises they made to the birth mom. I can understand why they would delete this. I'm thinking the birth mom is probably watching these videos. This is what I'm thinking. And remember, the birth mom has a year. Literally a year to say, I don't want to do this anymore. That's honestly what she has. There are big protections put in place for this type of thing. So maybe something happened. The birth mom called and said, look, I'm having some second thoughts. I don't want you to post. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what goes on or now. But I'm glad someone caught that video. Thank you so much. Everybody take a deep breath. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Della Vlogs. You're in trouble. I hope you're in trouble. I really do. People who exploit children, especially adopted children, can get wrecked. Okay? If you're going to take a child from somebody else and literally use it as a prop, as, as your selfies, and not protect the baby's neck, and do and make hundreds of thousands of dollars off this child, you do not deserve to have this baby. Give this baby its privacy, okay? What kid is it, like, I'm especially adopted kids, I mean, what if they don't want the world to know that they're adopted? Like, you can tell your kid, fine, that's your prerogative. But maybe your kid doesn't want to tell their friends that they're adopted. Maybe they don't care. Maybe it's not that important to them. Right? Maybe they just, that's, that should be their choice to make, by the way, everybody. Okay? But you already took that choice away from your child by putting me on the internet and, and exploiting them and putting their privacy out there for everybody to see. And named it story. So it's going to be really easy to find out who you are. Okay? So you took something away from your child, not only their privacy, not only, you know, the, the safety and the predators that are watching them, but you took away their ability to, to shape the way that they want to tell the world about their story. 
That's disgusting. Okay? That's gross. You're nasty. So, but you're not nasty. You're amazing. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being amazing, incredible, and valuable. Protect your kids. Okay? And I will see you when I see you.